Aw, oh, check it out! Broken Box TV, they got the best shows! This is Rich with another episode of Broken Box Media. We're here having a great time at the Olympia Theater Guzman Center for a Downtown Concert Series in Miami. We're here with Jacob Jeffries of the one and only Jacob Jeffries Band. Jacob, sir? Yes, Rich! Thank you for having us. Oh man, cool. Thank you for being here. Uh, we appreciate the invitation. Um, so, can you talk a little bit about first uh, where you're from, how you got started with music, when you started playing piano, and uh, how that all came about? Kind of a boring story. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, born and raised in Florida, South Florida. Uh, started doing music when I was a baby, man. I was playing piano when I was like two years old. Um, my mom actually told me a funny story. Um, when I was like one and a half, I like brought this little wooden keyboard into the kitchen behind her. She was washing dishes and started playing Imagine from like, because I heard it. And I guess she noticed then that I was a musician. Like I could hear things and mimic them. Play by ear. By ear. No, but she was uh, she was impressed, I guess, enough that her one and a half year old kid did it. And she kind of made music my thing. She would put music on all the time when I was little, and and I just been playing music my whole life. So you. Officially, I think, got the band started in 2006, am I correct? Yeah, around then, uh, yeah. And I know at that, around the same time, uh, you had to suffer, you know, a great tragedy. I yeah. that uh, your the last name, or your your pen name, yeah. is, is a dedication to that tragedy. Can you talk a little yeah, bit about Yeah, yeah. So, um, 2006, I graduated high school, and I had met up with these amazing producers from originally, uh, I guess, I don't know where they are from originally, but they're based in Miami. Okay. Um, amazing producers, Grammy Award winners. I luckily found them through a friend's dad, and I was like, this weird thing. But um, everything was going great, and I was doing a solo career, if you will, under my birth name. And, uh, which, I'm not even going to say, because it's, it's really weird and it's hard to say. But um, it was hard for a lot of Miamians to pronounce. And um, I was going with that, and then my dad freaking passed away out of nowhere, and we were all... Super, 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 super devastated. It was shocking, um, very difficult, and it was on our, on our, on our family's brain like, all the time. Like, what are you thinking about right now? Well, my dad, I, mean, I just lost him, you know. Mm -hmm. So we were getting ready to put out the first EP, and um, they, my producer said, "Sir, you're gonna go with your name." Your, and I'm like, you know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my dad's first name. It's easy to say, Jeffrey. That's his first name, Jeffrey. Jacob Jeffries. And then we added the word band because I wanted it to be more of a camaraderie with the folks in the band. So, uh -huh. Jacob Jeffries Band. And I am Jacob Jeffries. So, uh, what were the names, ladies and gentlemen? Jacob. Jacob. Oh, come on. Um, come on. I'm not being modest. Uh, uh, but. We were talking a little bit earlier about uh, your writing style and you know the kind of influences you have. I know we talked about the Beatles and we talked about Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Um, but can you talk a little bit about the what gives you the impetus to write? Like what what can strike your mind that makes you want to sit down at the piano and, and play a song? Well, according to some reviewer at the UCLA Bruin, which I'm very, very, very proud and fortunate that the UCLA Bruin reviewed our album. According to him, I write all my songs about love, which I don't disagree with. It. I mean, well, Paul McCartney says no, you guys write a love song. Right? No, and uh, I think a lot of my inspiration comes from relationships in general, whether it's a girlfriend, a best friend, a parent, a kid. You know, just relationships, the communication of two people. Um, so much the human emotion roller coaster is just so fierce. You know, um, so there's just so much to write about in that. Um, I recently started writing a song about a commercial I saw, so it can be really anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard somebody say that. Well, it's like one of those commercials where they're like, this child needs your help. You can adopt this child for a dollar a day if you call this number. And it was, it really like, it sparked so many thoughts in my head about the world and mostly the way that we live in America and how people live outside and inside even too. Yeah. You have so many domestic, you know, situations with 
impoverished people. And so I started writing a tune about that. So it's anything, you know? Yeah. I guess the way you see America or the way you perceive your society is always going to have an effect necessarily on what you put out into that, that same society. Uh, so you were just talking about that commercial. Um, what do you feel that music provides in that society? You know, like, you know, because art is a reflection of reality or reality yeah. can be a reflection of art. But do you see music in that way or do you just do it it's, for love? It's everything, man. Um, uh, music is everything. It, it can remedy, it can remedy the common cold, if you will. You just, um, do you try to do that with your music? I do, man, because here's the deal. I grew up listening to just so much, so much music. And music is such a, um, it's an instigator of emotion. And like, it, it can fire up this time and this place and you remember and it's just, it triggers so much in your head. And so because I was affected that way through, you know, I remember every summer morning when I'd go to summer camp, I'd listen to the Coldplay album over and over. Um, their first album, Parachute, over and over and over. I was in the car, my parents were driving me to summer camp. That album will always remind me of that day, exactly. of that week, of that month, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. in my life. And so because I was affected that way, I want to affect people that same way. I was like, that's what I want to do with my life. Like, I want to affect my society the way that I was affected. Like create the soundtrack for something. For else, something, right? for a situation. And when I hear people tell me that I did my job that way, man, I'm, I'm a pleased and happy individual. You know what I mean? Great. wrap it up by asking you whether people can check you out, yes. what you're going to be doing soon, and uh, where they can uh, buy your new album. Great. Um, new album is called Tell Me Secrets. It is now out on iTunes, and you should pick up a copy because it is great. And it rocks pretty hard. Um, we are playing at the Bank Atlantic Center, actually with Florida Panthers player hockey. Um, and, Randy Muller. and Randy Muller does his thing. Okay. Uh, we're playing with Sister Hazel on July 4th. So come on out there and yeah, follow us on Twitter at Jacob Jeffries. Jacob Jeffries, I E S. Yep, J E F F R I E S. So you heard it here first, not to uh, copyright infringe on anybody, but. <laughs> <laughs> you hear it. No. Just kidding, but uh, yeah. thank you again, Jacob. Uh, it was a pleasure and Man, uh, we look forward to seeing you on stage Do right now. Do you want to go by Rick or Richard for the rest of my life? Uh, my life is rich, that's Rick. So you're rich. Rich. Rick. 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 Eric. Rick. And Lucas. Wow, there's a C in all of your names. Wow, check that out. There's a C in your name. And Jessica too. And a C in Jessica. Holy cow! And a C in Coca-Cola. A room of C's. Oh, C's. Uh, today's letter is C. C. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Awesome, dude. Thank, Thank you, brother. Thanks, man. We're talking on camera.